Isa sa mga pinaka-importanteng bagay sa buhay ay pag i stretch No matter who you are, kung anong klaseng lifestyle mo, kung anong klaseng katawan mo, basta kailangan mo mag-stretch at ito ang mga surprising dahilan kung bakit. Una sa lahat, it leads to longevity aka nakakahaba ng buhay. Ako na, hindi kita nakikita. Tato na to. Hello po. Iba na, kaman. Ang pangit mo pala. Tola, mag 100 years old ka na. Ano ang sekreto mo? nag i stretch ka ba? 3, 4, 5. Grabe. Yes, that is right. It is proven to make you live longer. That is a fact. It'll boost your immune system. It decreases pain in your body, so hindi ka na umaaray. It even increases gains, aka it makes you stronger. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Kung lonely ka at wala kang love life, tulad ng kaibigan ko si Daniel Marsh. Kinsa yung girlfriend ko karoon kay libog ako? Sakto, sakto, sakto. And ito ang nakakatulong sa'yo mag-attract ng mga chicks. Huh? Chicks? Uh, no, kasi, you know, I'm not even gonna go for video. Manya! Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering if this is all really true, and yes. Lahat ng sinabi ko ay ang katotohanan ang true lalo na harong kalabu. I'll go more into the details of why and how stretching has all these incredible benefits. Pero before I get into the explanation, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang aking araw-araw everyday stretch routine. Na sana at kalaunan gagayahin mo. Ang pinaka importante ng oras to stretch is first thing in the morning within the first hour that you wake up. But optimally, the sooner the better. Your body is the tightest right when you wake up and kailangan talaga ng blood flow. So getting up and moving will get your muscles stimulated and lubricate your joints for the rest of the day. This is called ballistic stretching, where your body is in movement you only need to do this for a few seconds long. Ang kauna-una kong stretch first thing in the morning is always the vinyasa. This is both a ballistic stretch and a static stretch since it requires you to both move and hold different positions. Ang sequence na ito is the foundation of yoga at ito ang pinaka-importante stretch sa lahat. Bago ka magsimula, stand still, take a few deep breaths, calm the mind, and then you are ready to begin. Inhale your arms up, and exhale as you come down to your toes. Jump or step back to a plank position like you would before you do a push-up and inhale up to upward dog. This stretches the most important part of your body, yung likod mo. And if you adjust your toes ganito, then it gives an ankle stretch as well. Take one to three breaths before transitioning to downward dog. Now, as you can see, I like to do push-ups in between just to stimulate more blood flow and get a little pump in. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this. With downward dog, you want to have straight arms, straight legs, and try to touch your heels to the floor. Then come back up, inhale to a straight back, exhale down, and swan dive up, maintaining a straight back. Go in mo to tatlong beses and be sure to move along with your breath. You're training yourself to breathe properly, deep, slowly, and relaxed, correlated with your movements. Over time, deep breathing will lead to calmness in the mind. It'll help you focus better throughout your day. It decreases stress and increases blood circulation throughout the body. And ultimately, it enhances your stretch, making your movements even more beneficial. This entire process should take you maybe two to five minutes, 
depending on how long you like to hold your poses. Ang hamstring ay ang pinaka tightest muscle sa buong katawan, kaya non-negotiable ito. So again, with every stretch, we move with our breath, kaya inhale up and then exhale down. It's best to keep straight legs with a straight back to really work the hamstrings. Gusto ko yung stretch na to better on the ground, which we'll get to later. But as you can see in the stretch, if you can't completely be straight, then you can bend your knee, but it's better to have a straight back because bending over, like we used to be taught in school and stuff, um, when you bend your back, it kind of puts some bad pressure on your lower back, which is not the healthiest thing. Buldit. Susunod ay ang pinaka paboritong parte ng karamihan sa mga malalaki, ang Rudeus Maximus o ang Bulde. Maniac! For this, I like to do a pigeon pose. This should be a right angle. Foot here on the left side. Hand right in front of your knee like this. Do you want to get your back into it? Lean into it. Ito yung paborito kong stretch kasi simple lang. Pag nagbe-video games ako, naka-splits ako. Pag nagbe-business calls ako, naka-splits ako. Pag nag-YouTube ako, naka-splits ako. Pag nagbabasa ako, naka-splits. Ako pag nagta-trade ako ng stocks, kalakalan, ganun, naka-splits. You get the point. Ito yung pinaka-convenient stretch to do at dapat mag-multitask ka kasi ika nga, kill two birds with one stone. There's a lot of things you could do while sitting down, so you might as well be in the splits. Now the proper way to get out of this, you do it as you exhale. You move backwards and have your feet slowly come in. You move back out of it. Always exhale because when you exhale, that's when your muscles release. If you don't do it that way, you could injure yourself and pull a muscle. So exhale and come out of it the proper way. You never want to come out of a stretch super fast. Dapat dahan dahan. So your quads and your hips here are the focus and importante talaga to kasi nakakatulong sa posture mo, how you stand, and overall how your back is gonna be. Ako, I have this sort of post-anterior pelvic tilt which gives me a minor back pain and actually the majority of people do. So here, let me take my shirt off so it's easier to understand. You stand like this, like you can put a cup on your butt. Yung mga babae, ginagawa nila to para magkuha yung mga attention ng mga lalaki. You know, stand with their butt out like this, but hindi healthy to. Dapat straight in. Your your butt should be kind of like clenching, like you're flexing. But uh, straight you you back here. And the thing is, we kind of trained our bodies to do this. Dahil karamihan sa atin lahat, we're we're sitting down, and when you sit down, you tend to you tend to arch your back because you mo na maganda to sa katawan mo sa back mo. Even me, my whole life, I've been standing like this because you feel like it makes you taller, di ba? You stand up. Unfortunately, you you arch your back like this. We always thought that was good, chest up to to stand straight up like that. Pero mali, mali. Your butt should be clenched and you should be standing like this, not like this. So we're gonna be working on our quads. Now the old school way, for those who wanna do it standing up, if you're at a bus, airport, in line, whatever. That's what this is. Stand straight up. Pull your ankle back as far as you can. If you feel modito. Kaso yung maganda sa sahog sahig, sang kap, sang kop, ang kop, whatever. Roll your yoga mat up. Or, gamitin uli ang unan. Put your knee down like that, right angle. And then keep your body straight up, then just lean forward. Now, kung sobrang straight ka, mafeel mo talaga to. Mafeel mo dito as you stretch and lean down into it. <laughs> there, you get a sang maganda shot ng talong ko. Kasi masakit yung tuod ko o maaray, kaya get your chongo pillow. Adjust para komportable ka. And then, whew, lean into it. Oh. This I call the jackknife. Um, they call them talaga yung totoong pangalan. Yeah, I just make these up because it looks like a jackknife. Hey, one koso. But that this also focuses on your hips and glutes. Glutes is your bulldog. And you just lie on the ground and pull your knee into your chest. And then if you want a good hamstring stretch after, 
you can straighten your leg out. Grab your toe if you can. If you can't, just grab right here and pull it back as much as you can. Subukan mo na manatili yung bulgit mo dito sa sahog. Pwede magbend ng knee kung di kaya mag straight agad. Okay lang, go at your own pace. Whatever is comfortable sa yo, do your best, forget the rest. Alam mo na. Kapag nag ii stretch ka, dapat hindi ka mas stress. It shouldn't be painful. It should be slight discomfort lang. If you're holding your breath and di maayos yung pag inhale and pag exhale mo, that's when you know you're doing it wrong or you're trying too hard. You should be able to deep breathe. And as you breathe, you should be exhaling the pain away and imagining that tension is disappearing. Naglalaho, wala na. Uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that feels good. Now, hindi ito sexual, horror, droga, at hindi ang kop sa mga bata, blah, 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 blah. This is hips na hips. Kailangan ng yoga mat or, or something soft para ilagay sa mga tuhod mo. Kung may unan ka or anything, kailang mo talaga to para sa tuhod mo kasi masakit sa sahog, sa hip, sa kop, sa kap, whatever you want to call it. Then, magpwesto ka na parang parang magchichurba ka. Hindi ko talaga sure kung ano yan kasi virgin pa ako, pero na-imagine ko lang. What? Maniac! And you just lie. Kung gusto mo mas accentuate yung stretch, you can scoop back. Your butt kind of goes in the air when you do it. Some of you will only be able to be up here while you do this. But if you really can, go down, relax. Magbasa ng jaryo. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. You can chill like this. You can really feel it. Kung tight yung mga hips mo, woo! Mafeel mo talaga to. Grabe. So yan ang mga stretch na ginagaw ko araw-araw, mag-araw, mag-damag, mag-gabi, mag-lahat. Ang tip ko sa yo is stretch whenever you have time. Kung naghihintay ka, kung nasa airport, watching TV, nakatambay sa lansangan, you can stretch anytime, anywhere, even in a car. Which, pwede ko gawin isang buong video about stretches you can do in a car, stretches you can do standing up. Kung gusto mo makita yan, comment below and like this video. Pero taka lang. Kung pinapanood mo tong video na to, stop what you're doing, pause this video, get into the stretch. Go, mag, mag splits ka na, mag pigeon, kahit anong stretch. Habang pinapanood mo tong video na to, stretch. Tandaan mo, Eugene, when in doubt, stretch. Yan lang ang kailangan mo ma remember from this whole boong video na to. Now, kung masyadong maraming ito, masyado, masyado, if it's too much for you, then all I would ask for you to do is just one vinyasa a day. If you only have time to do one stretch, gawin mo yung vinyasas and nothing else. Pero kung ambisyoso palaka ka and you wanna be like a master stretcher, kailangan mo gawin at least twice a day. Once in the morning, right when you wake up, and right before bed. Yan ang pinaka importante ng oras makipag stretch. Now, ang dami pang ibang stretches na ginago ako, pero ito, tong video na to, is just the stretches that I do araw araw, non negotiables. Kung gusto mo makita more videos like this, other type of stretches, my morning routine, my night routine, my eating habits, my diet, making alaman sa health then comment below. But alam ko. So kanina sa umpisa ng video na to, may sinabi ako ng mga magical effects of stretching that I would magpaliwanag sa inyong lahat. Kaya ito na. Stretching increases your blood circulation and it also slows down your breath. This right here is the answer to everything. Let me explain. Sabi ko, it leads to longevity. And increased blood flow decreases your risk of cardiovascular disease and the buildup of cholesterol. Now that is the number one death in the United States cardiovascular disease. Alam mo yan? Buting alam mo na. Ba't sinasundan mo ko? Wala! Ang galing na ako mo dito. Dahil na akong grocery. Apat na oras habang pila. Apat mag-stretch ka habang nasa pila ka. Oh yeah, right. Get on, man. Get on, get on. Alright.
Bro, she was in the line for four hours. The grocery, you call them kumbaket, but today was like panic buying at the grocery store. I don't follow the belita because hey, nakaka depressing means on yung belita, it doesn't make me happy. So I just get my belita from Jaco de Leon and all my other friends. Anyway, back to the point. Stretching, particularly yoga, strengthens your balance. And in this case, it makes you a lot less likely to get injured and avoid any type of accidents, which can hurt you, maybe even kill you. Deep breathing and increased blood circulation leads to lower stress. Stress compromises your immune system and makes you more susceptible to diseases, infections, and viruses like the coronavirus. So therefore, through the transitive property of mathematics, stretching increases your immune system against the risk of getting coronavirus. Yeah. Hey, that's some good shit, huh, Shavina? That's some good shit, huh? Dandaan mo, Eugene. Now, my last two points. Blood flow increases your recovery time from workouts. Feeding your muscles with more oxygen, therefore increasing gains and lowering pain, inflammation, and other physical ailments. Home exercise coming soon, if you guys want that. For this last thing na masasabi ko dito, importante talaga to. Dito ka, dito ka te. Your life will never change unless you change something that you do daily. So use this time wisely, make the most of this quarantine, and get stretching. And even without the quarantine, get stretching. You can stretch at any time, alam mo na, okay? All right, I don't know if that's stretching, but okay. And follow me on TikTok for more funny, silly stuff. TikTok's fun. Kaya may ring light dito. It's a good exercise. A lot of mga sedentary lifestyle people do let you. She doesn't really go out and exercise, but she TikToks, she raises her heart rate, she gets that blood circulation going. Healthy on TikTok. Chaka when it makes you laugh. Happiness. Tulan ng sinabi ko sa isa sa mga blog ko is one of the best immunity boosters because stress is one of the silent killers from within that that compromises your immune system. You get coronavirus. Kaya stretch so no coronavirus. Okay, you get the point. See you on the next vlog. Para sa vlog. All troops deployed. Burst blood.